I'm very disappointed in Stephen Hawking's recent statement and comments about God, regarding God. He said recently in one of his writings, in one of his publications, in a forthcoming book, I believe, that he now changes what he had previously stated and that he believes that God did not create the universe. I had the utmost respect for Mr. Hawking. I have read his books, The Arrow of Time, and his library, his entire collection of, of writings. And to hear the recent news is very disparaging, very uh, sad and unfortunate, rather unfortunate. Uh, despite his belief uh, currently uh, that he has changed his mind about how the universe was formed, uh, he nonetheless remains one of the foremost mathematicians, physicists, scientists in the world. That can't be taken from him and to each their own. He has his ideas and his beliefs and that's what the world is about, is about individuality. And so I can respect that, but again, I'm deeply saddened by his, uh, his epiphany that he has had, and uh, his, his revelation, his proclamation, his decree. Very, uh, very disturbing, really, because I think Stephen knows better than that. I believe in God. I believe that God did create the universe. I am certain, with 100% certainty, that God created the universe. There is no other explanation for the reason why things are the way they are. If one looks at how things were designed, one can deduce, if one really thinks deeply enough, that things were designed in an intelligent manner. Some things appear to be random, but there are things that were created for a reason. And I won't go into those details, but um, I might at some point decide to give dissertation on my beliefs and how I believe things are arranged in the universal scheme and scope of things. Uh, in brief, one looks out in the space and sees planets, orbits, celestial bodies, the cosmos, cosmic arrays of different Entities floating, spinning, existing, manifesting, materializing, and you know, molecular quantum structures, mechanics of the universe on deep fractal levels and beyond even interdimensionally. And there's a reason for it all. It's just not some kind of random occurrence. It doesn't make sense that it would be just some random uh, event that caused things to arrange into orderly constructions of, of data. Things become coherent, things are logical, things make sense, and things are the way they are for a very specific architectural reason. When I say that I believe in an intelligent design, I do believe in the concept of the intelligent design theory only so far as I believe in an intelligent designer. I believe in an intelligent designer, God. Some people say that the intelligent design theorists ha are devoid of God. They have no God in their equation. I think that's absurd. It's, absolutely, it's, it's ridiculous and asinine to assume that because someone believes in God, an almighty one God, I believe in one God, I believe in God being omnipotent, and I believe that God is omnipresent. I believe that there is only one God. Sure, in different dimensions, in different galaxies, different universes, and what we may refer to as the multiverse. Sure, there may be overlords, kings, queens, monarchs, oligarchs. There may be civilizations and different races and species, but... I believe that there was one individual singularity, one God, that created all such things. And therefore, there's just one God in my view, in my universal slash world view. I'm a monotheist. I have always been a monotheist. I don't believe in 
uh, you know, magic, you know, like a lot of uh, people do that has nothing to do with uh, religion. People that just believe in magic numbers and they believe in zodiac signs and all these things. Those are random things. Those are things that people have put together and those random data have no bearing on the true reality of the multiverse around us. And Stephen Hawking, deep down inside, he knows that. And uh, But he's, he's made his decision to publish this, this current belief of his. And I'll pray for him. I hope that at some point he changes his worldview again and understands the deeper nature of the universe, the multiverse.